This video is part of the average to pro JavaScript in 100 minutes where we learn about some advanced JavaScript concepts that you need to know if you want to stand out from the crowd. If that seems interesting, then you can find a link to that video in the description. Composition is a pattern and it solves problems that the inheritance pattern cannot. A quick recap of the word inheritance. Inheritance is basically when you have a base class and some other classes extending to the base class that are now going to have access to the public methods and properties of the base class. But with inheritance, we are often forced to write duplicate code and that's just pathetic. So to solve this, the composition pattern comes in. Composition is not a total replacement for inheritance. We will talk about when to use inheritance and when to use composition. But before that, let's understand composition with an example. Inheritance comes with restrictions. Let's take a look at what cannot be done with inheritance and how the same can be implemented with composition. Here I have already created a class named animal. This class has a constructor that, that takes in a name and the animal can also breathe and eat. I also have a human class that extends to the animal class. So now the human can eat and breathe as well and it can also have a name. And on top of that, the human can write code. I have another class bird that extends to animal and the bird can fly other than having the features of the animal. Now let's say in future I want to create a new class that is a code writing flying human. How would that look? How would I implement that? Now for this code writing flying human, if I extend from the animal class, then the code writing flying human will have access to the features of the animal class. But we will still have to duplicate the write code and the fly method. But what if we extend to the human class? If we do that, then the code writing flying human will have access to the write code method and it will also have access to the features of the animal class but it can still not fly. So you see there is no good way around this. You will have to duplicate some amount of your code and that's a problem with inheritance. This could be solved with composition. Let's see how. In composition, we basically create functions that return other functions and properties and using those functions, we can create entities like the animal or the human or the bird. Let's go ahead and create the same scenario with composition and hopefully this time with composition we will not have the issues that we were having while creating the code writing flying human. I'm going to create a function named animal features. This function is going to accept a name as a parameter and this animal features function is going to return all the features of the animal class. So it is going to return an object that is going to have these two functions in it, breathe and eat. I am going to create another function that is going to return the write code feature. This takes the name as well and returns an object with code function in it. And at last we will create a function that is going to return the fly functionality. Now we have all the functions that we need to create any of these possible entities. So let's go ahead and do that. Now if I want the human entity, then I will simply create a new function, create human. And whenever I need to create a new human, I will use this function. And through this function, I'm simply going to return an object that is going to have the animal features. And the human is also going to have code writing abilities. So I will derive that here as well. And I would also want to know the name of the human later on. So I could add the name property in this object. And now with this function, I can create humans. And I could do a similar thing for the bird by creating a create bird function. And the bird is going to have the animal features. It is also going to have flying ability. And we're also going to add the name property here. And now let's go ahead and create our code writing flying human. This time we will not have to repeat any logic since we are using composition. So let me create the function create code writing flying human. This is going to return an object with the animal features, flying ability and also the code writing ability. 
we have created everything that we need and now we are ready to use these features so let me go ahead and create a human and for this i can just simply call the create human function i need to pass in a name and now this is going to return me an object with animal features code writing ability and the name and now i can start calling those methods in this object let me go ahead and run this so you can see that it is working all right you can see the logs coming out here let me also create a bird object with the create bird function and if i have to create my code writing flying human then i could just call the create code writing flying human function and it is going to return me an object with all the features that we need the name here is going to be mihir plus plus because superpowers and now let me go ahead and call all the methods on this object and here you can see all the features are working mihir took a breath he wrote code he ate food starling took a breath starling ate food starling is flying mihir plus plus took a breath is flying writing code ate food everything is there this is how we inherit functions and features with composition now composition is not always the answer even though it is in most of the cases but it is not a total replacement for inheritance let's talk about when to use inheritance and when to use composition composition should be used when your requirements are not completely clear with composition things can be modified very easily but when we want to build things that are supposed to be more rigid and solid where the requirements are clear in those places inheritance should be used as in most of the languages you can only derive from one base class when a class needs all the features of the base class well that is a case of inheritance and if it only wants some of the features then that's composition as a general rule we use inheritance for things that have an is relationship mihir is a man a car is a vehicle inheritance is for things that derive their base features from only one thing while composition is for things that have a has relationship and derive their features from multiple places for example a house has a bathroom but it also has a garage or or a garden so you see with composition we build things that have or can have many different features but 80 to 90% of the times composition would be the better option